Hello. In this Alice tutorial, we are going to learn about loops. Loops are something pretty standard you're going to see in any programming language. The command to loop something is called count in Alice. So we're going to click and drag it up here. We're going to specify the number of times we want it to repeat the code inside. So I'm going to say custom whole number. I'm going to choose to repeat it four times. What do we want to have happen inside? We can put one or more blocks of code in here. I'm going to start with the eagle. The eagle is going to say hello, and I'm going to speed it up so we don't have to sit here watching it. I'm going to speed it up to 0.25 seconds. Next, I'm going to have the camel think hello, also for a duration of 0.25 seconds. Now when you're using a loop in Alice, it's important to think about how long the entire execution is going to take. So what we're going to start by doing is add up the time it will take for all blocks inside the loop to execute. 0.25 plus 0.25 is 0.5 seconds. 0.5 seconds repeated four times is two seconds. So this whole loop will take exactly two seconds to execute. Let's run it and see what it does. And there we go. Next, we're going to learn something called a nested loop, where we've got one loop inside another loop. So I'm going to have this internal loop run through three times. Now I'm going to move the eagles command inside there. To figure out how many times the eagle is going to say hello, we need to multiply how many times the outer loop executes by the number of times the inner loop executes. So 4 times 3 is 12. The eagle is going to say hello 12 times. The camel is only inside the outer loop, so the camel is only going to say hello four times. Let's take a look and see how this works. So at the top, the eagle will say hello three times, then the camel will think hello once, then we'll pop back up to the top of the outer loop, again the eagle will say hello three times, the camel will think hello once, pop back up to the top of the outer loop, until we've been through the outer loop four times. One thing we can do to customize the behavior of our loop is instead of having this value be a constant, we can have it be a variable. Let's simplify this real quick first. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable. It needs to be a whole number variable because again, loops can't accept variables other than whole numbers. I'm going to call this repetitions, and I'm going to initialize it to 3. Instead of repeating 4 times, it's going to repeat whatever value is inside repetitions. In this case, that value is 3. We run it. Camel thinks hello 3 times. To put some interactivity into our program, we're going to get a value from the user to populate the variable repetitions. So I'm going to go to functions. I'm going to go to get integer from user and put it on top of the three. So now whatever value the user enters will go into the variable repetitions. Custom text string will say how many times do you want the camel to say or to think hello. So we run it, it asks us, we type in the number, that number goes into the variable, and it loops through that many times. There we go. Looping is a very powerful tool when you want to repeat a command or set of commands multiple times in place. If you want to call the same command or commands from different parts of the program, you're probably better off using a method, though you may use a method in conjunction with a loop to further simplify your programming.